היי, יו אבריץ' דה פודקאסט אוף פרופסור חיים שור. אין דיס אפיזוד, איז תורה דיוויינלי אינספיירד? איז תורה דיוויינלי אינספיירד? The first verse of Genesis reads, In the beginning Elohim created the heaven and the earth. This means that there are two worlds apart. World 1, the heaven. World 2, the earth. Two cultures, the embodiment of two philosophies of life, prevail over planet earth. Culture 1. There is only the earth. namely, the observable physical world. There is no heaven. Culture 2. There are two worlds, the heaven and the earth, and our duty is to connect the two. The first, culture 1, prevails in current Western civilization. Culture 2 is cornerstone in Judaism and probably also in other monotheistic faiths. The question of whether Torah is divinely inspired is tightly linked to the choice between the two cultures, as succinctly just outlined. According to culture 2, Torah is divinely inspired. Therefore, it represents the divine moral code, the spiritual dimension of our physical existence on planet Earth, with the Ten Commandments at its center, and details scattered throughout the five books of Moses, Torah. If Torah is divinely inspired, we are here to connect the heaven and the earth. According to Culture 1, Torah is a historic relic of human writings from ancient times. Therefore, in view of the scientific progress made over recent centuries, In understanding how the physical world is structured and how it is functioning, Torah is no more relevant to our lives. According to Culture 1, Torah can only serve in academia as a subject of scientific research of ancient cultures. How do we decide between the two cultures? How can we lend scientific validity to the truth of one culture over the other? And in other words, how do we scientifically prove or disprove that Torah is divinely inspired? Numerous written words, lectures, and nowadays also videos have been produced to address this extremely critical question. Endless number of words of persuasion, one way or another, have been put forward. We believe that there is a single method to scientifically address this question. The correct approach is to find out whether certain patterns scientifically found to exist in nature, the earth, in biblical parlance, whether these same patterns also exist in Torah and in its original language, biblical Hebrew. Can we scientifically demonstrate that, indeed, in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth? Three research efforts have recently been carried out. They are relevant to the question posed in this podcast's title. These research efforts have been described, in a popular way, in three meticulously produced videos by Oren Evren. Video 1 Rav Ginsberg on Fibonacci numbers in Biblical Hebrew, narrated in Hebrew with English subtitles, please activate. Video 2 Professor Chaim Shore on numeric values scientifically observed in nature and how they are mirrored in respective Biblical Hebrew words, narrated in English, with Hebrew subtitles. Video 3 Oren Evron, on associations between numbers, relating to the first verse of Genesis, in its original Biblical Hebrew, and constant pi, cornerstone and frequent visitor in numerous scientific models of physical reality, narrated in English, an additional video is in Hebrew. YouTube addresses for all three videos are given on Oren Evron YouTube channel, 
and also at the respective post on HaimShore.blog and HaimShore YouTube channel. Thank you for listening. Until the next episode, goodbye.